in the second part of the video tutorial, Electronic Structure Calculations with GPOV, we provide a short overview of the GPOV package. GPOV works within the density functional theory and implements also various forms of the time dependent density functional theory, including the time propagation and the linear response formalisms. GPOV utilizes the projector augmented wave method for treating the core electrons and the strong Coulomb potential near the atomic nuclei. A unique feature of GPOV is that it is possible to use different basis sets within the same projector augmented wave approach. The basis sets implemented in GPOV are uniform real space grids, localized atomic orbitals, and plane waves. We'll discuss the basis sets more detail a bit later on. Parallel performance is one strong point of GPOV and the software can scale efficiently up to tens of thousands of CPU cores depending on the research problem. GPOV is open source software so that anyone can freely use and develop the code. The GPO webpage contains detailed documentation as well as several tutorials. GPO can be used for basic total energy calculations and structural optimizations similar to other density functional theory packages. One can analyze the electronic structure, for example by investigating the band structure and the density of states. There is a wide variety of exchange correlation functionals ranging from the local density approximation to various orbital dependent hybrid functionals. Excited state properties can be studied within time dependent density functional theory as well as with many body approaches which use the density functional theory calculations as starting point. GPOV includes a large set of more specialized features for example for electronic transport, X-ray spectra, scanning tunneling microscopy and so on. Let's discuss next the various basis sets included in GPOV and start with uniform real space grids. Here all the physical quantities such as wave functions, electron densities and potentials are represented by their values at grid points. There is a single parameter, the grid spacing, which determines the accuracy of discretization and the accuracy can be improved systematically by decreasing the grid spacing. Derivatives such as the Laplacian in kinetic energy and in Poisson equation are evaluated numerically by finite differences. Real space grids enable flexible boundary conditions which can be periodic or finite in any three dimensions. Parallelization can be done very efficiently with domain decomposition as only nearest neighbor communication is needed. Other possibility for representing the consum orbitals is to use atomic-like orbitals as basis functions. Here one solves one-dimensional consum equations for free atoms and in order to keep the basis functions localized a confining potential is added. Depending on the number and the type of basis functions, one speaks about single zeta, double zeta, double zeta and polarized etc. basis. As the number of basis functions is typically small, calculations can be very efficient. On the other hand, it can be difficult to convert the basis set in a systematic fashion, adding just new basis functions does not necessarily improve the accuracy. In GPO, it is possible to switch between localized bases and the real space grid within a calculation seamlessly. The third basis set offered by GPO is the plane wave basis. According to Fourier analysis, any function which is periodic with respect to simulation cell can be written as sum of plane waves where G are reciprocal lattice vectors. The number of basis functions is typically determined by specifying a cutoff energy for the expansion. By utilizing fast Fourier transforms, the calculations with plane wave basis can be very efficient. However, system has to be periodic, so for finite system one has to use supercells. We end the general overview about the cheap of code by summarizing the different basis sets. Both real space grids and plane waves allow a systematic convergence with a single parameter, that is grid spacing and the plane wave cutoff, while with localized atomic orbitals, systematic convergence is less straightforward. 
On the other hand, in situations where the accuracy of atomic orbital paces is high enough, the calculations with them can be very efficient. The biggest advantage of real space grid is in its parallelization prospects, which allow efficient utilization of thousands of CPU cores, and for large scale calculations with hundreds of atoms, real space grid is typically the method of choice. Plane wave bases can be very efficient in small to medium sized calculations, especially for bulk systems. However, fast Fourier transforms limit the parallel scalability.